Questions and comments? The government house leader? Yes, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I think of the National Dental Program. I think of programs like the National Pharmacare Program that's uh, being proposed. I think in terms of the health care agreements, where we saw a federal government demonstrate uh, a tangible interest in developing more on mental health, uh, long-term uh, care, that the federal government through the Canada Health Act does have a very important role to play in delivering health care uh, in, in our communities. The question I have for the member is, uh, contrary to what the former Conservative Speaker stated, does the current leader of the Conservative Party believe that the federal government has more of a role than just providing cash to provinces? The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Well, if it does have more of a role, then that role has been to extend wait times and make emergency rooms even more full of people. Since the Prime Minister said he was going to get more involved in health care, wait times have doubled. So if he wants the power, he has to take the responsibility and explain why he's failed so badly. Then he talks about these other grand federal programs. Interesting. A dental program that hasn't cleaned a single tooth. He's got a housing program that has doubled the, housing, the cost of housing and increased uh, severe homelessness by 88 percent. He's got, oh, then there's the Pharmacare program, uh, which hasn't delivered a single uh, jar of medicines and which, if actually implemented, would ban, yes, ban uh, Canadians from having their private drug plans. Uh, so the Prime Minister and the NDP want to roll back the rights that unions fought so hard for so long to, 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 to secure. We, our labour movement fought too hard to secure those private drug plans and we will never let a big centralising bureaucratic government in Ottawa take those rights away from work. Yeah.